Reality TV star Lisa Vanderpump of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is speaking out about our undercover investigation into pet rescues. Vanderpump was a big donor to the rescue we exposed with hidden cameras. Investigative reporter David Goldstein is in the newsroom now with more. David. Well, Pat Vanderpump says she backed out of those donations after she found what she said complications with that rescue. Then she saw our investigation last night where the rescue owner threw us out of the store. I saw the tape. I didn't like what I saw either. Absolutely. Come on, get out. We're leaving. Get out. We're leaving. Get out. Hey, come on, come on. I Keep your hand off the camera. Reality star Lisa Vanderpump is reacting to our investigation of Saving Spot, a pet rescue that she once heavily supported. They threw us out. I'm sure you've been thrown out before, David. Don't act like the victim. Out I'm on a public now. street. The owner of Saving Spot threw us out after we uncovered they could be soliciting charitable donations for puppies illegally. Their tax exempt status from the IRS was revoked in 2015, and they're not even registered as a charity with the Attorney General's office. Did you know at the time, or your partner know, that they were not a registered charity? We knew there were some complications, but I also must add, these are two women that love those dogs. I've named this little dog Milky. Vanderpump opened her pet rescue in Beverly Grove about six weeks ago but had recorded an episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills at Saving Spot and says her foundation even donated about $20,000 and had considered joining forces until they said they found something was up. I think we realized that a merger wasn't a good idea for us. It was maybe they had a few more complications and my husband thought that, you know, when he looked into things, that we wanted to go on our own. Vanderpump says she's adopted out about 55 dogs in just six weeks and feels all rescues need to be on the up and up. We have our, you know, 501c3, it's on the wall. We're transparent. I have to be. I can't afford to be anything other than that. But not so with many other rescues. Our investigation found out of 66 in our area, 44% of those rescues don't have the proper charity registration. Pat, Rick, back to you.